Friday. I love Fridays. How are you? <laughs> oh, man. Say, hey, bro. It's hard for me to work on Fridays, to tell you the truth, man. I it's bet. Hard for Especially me. with the weather so nice, man. Yes, bro. Yes. Gotta love San Diego, bro. Right? Right. Normally in my in my earlier days, Friday afternoons, I'd be I'd be I'd be at happy hour by now. Like I'd be at happy hour just enjoying the beach, enjoying the freaking, you know, sunny San Diego weather right now and yeah. and just chilling out, man. I just love I'm I'm so thankful. But now But you're I'm, hustling right now. You're I'm hustling. hustling. Right. You gotta put gotta, in the work, right? man. Yeah. I, I hear you, bro. Yeah. I hear you, man. How's the family? How's the how's the how's Oh the bro, it's 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 starting to work out. It's starting to work out. The very first day we came home, which was on Saturday, so today's Friday came home last saturday sunday monday it's like shit dude having two babies crying at the same time and freaking now my daughter getting jealous because her boob is getting taken away by a little monster that just all of a sudden came into our family yep. that's how it was in the first few days but now it's like dude now my little daughter's kissing on the little baby hugging on the little baby yeah. like it's just a beautiful thing man that's it's great, a beautiful man. thing so and my little boy he's like now now he's a, he's well yeah he's a, he's a week old now so now he's a little bigger Yep. So now I don't feel like I'm, you know, I don't feel like I'm going to break him. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. He's gaining weight. So great. That's it's all fantastic. good. That's great. Man. Wifey That's and great. I were about to pull our hair out and freaking <laughs> kill each other though in the first few days, man. But now we're freaking, I, I think we're calmed down now. Now it's like, <laughs> now, now it's all good. It never stops. It, it never stops. Right? It never stops, man. It, it never, never stops. stops. What are you up to, man? Um, just, man, it's been a busy week for me so far. Um, That's good. Yeah, you know, business is good, um, good, man. good with regard to the business, but, uh, you know, I want to start my own, you know, my own thing, man. And I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to get that up and running. Um, mm -hmm. I, I set up my, uh, my thank you page. I was able to, to set up my thank you page, like you recommended with the video. Uh, I'd love to show you what that video yeah, looks cool. like. Share, Share the screen. Okay. Heck yeah, bro. Video. I got that video going now. We got that video going. There you go, E. Once you get that video out, bro, I'm telling you, it's, it's checkmate, man. Checkmate. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of the first steps, man. You know, I mean, I got a lot more steps to go, but, you know. I mean, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, bro. All this other stuff, all this other stuff, all the details, all the technicalities, all the how-tos, all that stuff is going to come. That's the learning curve. Yes, we got to put in the work to make that happen. But the fact that you actually have your mug on video now, bro, I'm yeah. telling you, you're 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 ahead of 99% of people, bro. Because this is the part that they fear. Which screen? Which screen? Can you see this one? Yeah, or? but you gotta um, you're gonna have to go ahead and hit hit the green button, hit publish live. Just publish it live. No one's gonna see it anyways. Just publish it live, and then just grab the link and then open it up in a new tab. Let's let's look at the actual page. Like let's we could play the video that way. So yeah, grab that link. Hey guys, my name is EG and I just wanted to say thank you so much for downloading your free report on how to retire with confidence. I've been in the financial services industry now for 20 years and I've helped many clients achieve their financial and retirement goals and I want to help you do the same. In this report, you're going to learn some of the- Crushed it, bro. Crushed it. Go Crushed it. When it comes to retirement and how to overcome these obstacles. They ain't ready, E. Or even enhance your current <laughs> lifestyle. They are not ready. So go check your inbox because I just emailed you the report. And more importantly, make sure to look out for my future emails because I've got a lot of valuable information that I want to share with you. Oh, and don't forget to click that button below. Wow. I'm on my wow. I can answer any questions and even start planning for your future retirement so you can have more money, more protection, and more importantly, more confidence in retirement. Chat with you soon. Thank you. Bro, you know, yep. so, so uh, I'll just tell you, man, I'm, you know, I played sports all my life and played football and, and you know, when I was little, um, high school and even got a scholarship to play football at D1 AA school. And I'll tell you, man, I, I'm a good, I'm a good, you know, I can follow directions really well. Yes, bro. As long as I have a good teachable. mentor, if I have a good teacher that can tell me yes, what sir. to do. And literally when wow, I, bro. when I watched your video, uh, or the replay of our video from last time we talked, mm -hmm. you, you stepped it up. You're like, all right, this is what you need to do. Here are your four points. Make sure you cover these four points. And then that's what I just, I, that's what I did. I was like, all right, oh. let, me, let me do an intro. Let me say thank you. Um, let me, you know, tell them a little bit about what they're going to get. 
you know, get them, get them accustomed to looking at their inbox, making sure, you know, they're accustomed to doing that and making sure to click the video, uh, click the link on the bottom. So I, I love Bro. it, man. I mean, you know, I just, if I could follow, if I, I just need to follow your direction because you're the one that's, you know, mentoring me and that's, that's what I need. Bro, I'm very, very, like, I'm saying this humbly, bro. I'm keeping it 100 with you. I'm very proud of you, man. Like, you Thank did a you. great job on that. I don't know how many takes you took, but at the same time, it don't even matter. You nailed it. Like, you it took me a couple it. shots. It took, it took yeah, me a couple right? shots, but, hey, you, you know, it. I mean, that's what it takes. But, you I mean, it. as I get more more comfortable doing videos, you know, it's just going to come natural because that's what mm -hmm. people want is they mm -hmm. want that natural – you know, that guy, you know, it does, he's not, he's not being produced. There's no, there's no yes, fuck about this right now. Mm -hmm. He's just a normal mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love that, man. That, 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 that's what you want to do, bro. And, and then now from this point on, from this point on, now that lead is on a list, right? They're on a list. And then they're also tied to a sequence. Yep. So you want to make sure that you have that email sequence set up. Okay. Right. Now in the sequence, this is what I was talking about with, with, with my boy Scott earlier is the fact that in, those, in, in that sequence, those emails that go out, every email is going to refer back to that guide, right? So now we're sending out email number two, email number three, email number four, and we're taking pieces of the guide, and, and, and that's our email. Right. But in the email, not only am I just writing out a few things, but I'm also linking them to another video. So now that's when E's going to come back on video and say, hey, guys, let me explain this. And it could be a one-minute video, two-minute video. It doesn't need to be long at all. But whatever, whatever you're imagining to talk about in email number two, which I'm telling you to talk about the PDF, mm -hmm. pick something out. Like, for example, how, long, how many pages of the PDF? Um, I believe it was 16 pages. Okay, perfect. So, 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 so from email number two and on, we're literally just doing like a book report. We're right. taking little pieces of, e not, not necessarily each page, because then that would be 16 emails. Right. But if you're taking a little bit out of, out of maybe page three, a little bit out of page five, but going in order. Yeah. Each email, email number two is talking about what's on page three. Email number four is talking about what's on page seven. Email number five is talking about what's on page nine. Right. So I'm going down, right? I'm going down. Those emails that go out in the sequence, I highly, highly, highly encourage you, to make it a video. Okay. So, so right here, right, right, right where it says, where, when do we save? That's email number four. Hey, John, check it out. I just did a video and this is, this is the email. I just did a video about, about page nine, about page two, about when do we save? A lot of, a lot of my clients, this is a big deal to them. And this is what, this is what I wanted to kind of break down with you. And, and, and you can explain that bro in 30 seconds, you can explain that in 60 seconds, but just right. the fact that it's video and the fact that now I'm getting an email and it is video. And two days later, I'm going to get another email and it's E back on video. That's the game changer. Gotcha. So, 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 so keeping it right there where you're at with that simple wall, that background and keeping it that basic is powerful, man is powerful. Okay. So, so what a lot of people would do is they'll just email and that's it. You, 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 you separate yourself from everybody else by having your video on the thank you page. Now we're going to separate ourselves from even the one percenters by putting ourselves on video on every email. Gotcha. Cause I also got, um, I also got, uh, like email templates that, um, I already have made up. Um, Perfect. and Perfect. all I got to do is kind of, uh, copy and uh, paste it, uh, copy, paste it. And, and, and let me just show you what these, what these templates look like really quick. If I can find it, grab, uh, you, you can grab that text and, and use that as the text of email number two, three, four, whatever. But yeah. then also throw, throw a video in there as well. Throw a video in there, throw a video yeah. in there as well. Yeah. That's and that video is going to be on a page. So it's not going to, it's not going to link them to a YouTube channel. It could link them to a YouTube video, but that video is on a page. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so, so let me, let me show you an example. Let me show you an example real quick before you get into this one, because okay. this is, this is super basic and this is super, super important. Can you see my, my um, page? No, I can. You, you can now? Yep. Okay, cool. This is a simple example, like exactly what I'm talking about. This email went out and there, there's the text. So whatever you got, copy, paste it. There's the text, but then here's the link to the video. So when they click on that link, click here to watch, 
it brings them to a Kartra page where it's me on video. Got so it. in each email, I'm taking them to a, a page. Right. And the reason for it, three, three reasons why. Why I'm not just taking them to my YouTube channel, for example. Although it is a YouTube video, but I'm taking them to a Kartra page. Three reasons. Reason number one, so I can Facebook pixel them. I need, that, I need that data. I need to create that audience. I need a custom audience through Facebook. I need to start tracking these people who are landing on my pages. That's number one. Number two, so I can keep their attention on my video. If I link them straight to YouTube, three seconds later, yeah, they're, they're watching click on. videos on OJ. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're, 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 on, they're on some other trip two seconds later because when you're looking at YouTube, there's all these videos on the right-hand side. Yeah. Before you know it, they're looking at car chases. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. And so that's number two. I can keep their attention. But number three, so I can have a call to action. So here's what you're going to do. And these emails that are going out via sequence, via the sequence, quick little education on page three. There's E on video. And at the end of that video, just like you did on the thank you page, at the end of every single video. And by the way, guys, if you'd like to even dive deep, deeper into this or you'd like to you know, get started now, whatever, whatever that call to action could be, whatever that verbiage you want it, you want it to be, but the whole call to action is to get them to click the button to schedule the call. Hey guys, and by the way, if you want more information, if you want to dive in and get more details, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. And by the way, don't forget, tomorrow I'm going to bring out another fire-based email. Don't, you're not going to want to miss that one. See you guys there. You know what I mean? So, so now- in That's each, exactly what I want. Yeah, bro. In each email, there's that call to action with what they- Because at the end of the day, I need someone on the phone, bro. Like I'm doing all this to get your ass on yeah. the phone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, no doubt. So, so it's it's the value, 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 video, video, value, value, value. But then call to action at the end of everything, at the end of every video. Right. Right. Okay. Got to. So sixteen pages. I would set up eight emails, and 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 in each email, I'm talking about that sixteen page PDF with okay. a video, with a video. And okay. to tell you the truth, I would have the video up. I would do the video, and I would do it just like this screen share, and I'd be on page nine. Hey, John, let me, let, me, let me talk about real quick what's on page nine. In fact, let me, let me pull up the PDF. Let me, let's look at page nine together. Do you see where it says this freaking retirement? Let me talk to you real quick about this. Let me show you what this means. So yeah. now you got the PDF right in front of my freaking face. You're <laughs> breaking it down via video and you're getting me to schedule a call. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so you, so you would do a screen share, record the screen share of you mm -hmm. uh, pulling up the PDF and, and, and talking yeah, about bro. it. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. Did you do that thank you video on your cell phone? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, so in this case, we do it on, a, on your computer. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would do it. On, I, I, I've got a Zoom account as well, too. Um, and I could do it on that. Okay. Awesome. Give me one second, bro. Yep. My bad, bro. This little one wants to learn freaking landing pages and shit and stuff. Uh, hey, He's knocking baby. at my door crying. I had to open it up. Hi, baby. Hey, what's up, E? That's Uncle E right there. What's up, baby hey, what girl? Up, e? Hey, E, I'm going to keep it real, man. I don't have life insurance yet, bro. So we're going to chat. We're gonna have to chop it up. No doubt. We're going to have to chop it up. Now, I don't have 20, 20 grand to throw down at something, but, but I do need to start at something basic. Yo, you can, you can get a... $250,000 policy for like pennies, man, bro. I need you to hook me up with that. So we, we we'll, we'll set up another call for that. I need that. Yeah, no doubt. I'll send yeah. you a link for, you can, you can run the quote yourself, but I'll, I'll let's do another call. it will be yeah. real quick, man. It, yeah, it for won't. sure. For sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go through you. I'll yeah. go through and we'll get it started. No doubt. Yes. Okay. Man. So here's my question. How do I set up my sequences now that I have my, my thank you page? Um, cause when they're going to, you know, Share your screen. Okay. Yeah, so all, all that is going to be tied to, well, there's multiple ways you could tie a sequence, but the way I'm going to teach you is through the form. So anyone who fills out this form is added to this sequence. Okay. So here's where it starts. It starts with, um, it starts with, it starts with, it, with, with, with my communication. So let's go back to my communications. It starts there and then, and then hover over communications and click on sequences. And then, and then let's open it up from here. So whatever sequence, do you have one up already or, or you got to create one? No, I think I, what I thought I did what was are these three copy. Right here? So I copied, um, I copied your, so not that one. 
I think this is the Kaizen Consulting campaign. Oh, this is this is the one that's tied to the the page, the landing page that I copied from you. Okay, and you can delete you that one. Delete it. Yeah, delete it. You don't need you don't need that one. As long as you have. Um, I don't have a sequence tied yet to this page when they um, opt in. Do you have a form? So if I click on that yellow button, did you set up the form? No. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, so so go to my forums, and then so now let's get rid of let's get rid of a few over here. Get rid of the DC ones because this is your first funnel, right? The first campaign, first everything, right? This is my first. Yeah. Everything. So we could we could delete a lot of this stuff. Let's delete. I was just trying to test some stuff out. Just I was just playing around in them. You good, know? man. Good, good, like, good. Uh, I can take this out. So remember, every landing page has a form. And so this is where you would set up a form. Um, yeah. Now, the form also has to be tied to a thank you page. So the moment, so Karcher, they need to know, okay, what's the landing page? Where do we put the form? But when, the, when that person fills out the form right. and they click submit, yeah. where do they go next? That's the right. thank you page. Right. So you want to have the landing page and the thank you page up first, and then you come and set up the form. Okay. Okay. okay? So, um, so these other two, which ones do you, which ones so, do you know? I think this is the one that, so look, like, let me show you, right? So first they go here, mm -hmm. you click on download now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, they, they get to that, that form where they enter in their name and email address, right? So here, here, let's just, let's just take a look real hit, quick. Hit, hit, um, hit cancel, hit can actually, yeah, yeah, get out of there real quick. Just click on the three dots and get the link. Get code or link, the top one. So let's just see um, where it's taking us now. So it says download now, right? Okay, so we need to tie a form to that. Okay, cool. So. Let's um, go back to go back to the actually go back to the forms. So yeah, go back to Karcher real quick, and then um, and then let's go to yeah, close that one out. Let's go. What pages do you not need? You have um, the t the the KZ landing page test. Thank you. Try to keep this part clean if you can. Like yeah. just get rid of all these other ones. But if you're testing and playing around with them, then that's all good. It's it's all good. But but if you if, if this is our first one, let's um. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's have the landing page, thank you page, and, and then that's it. And the confirmed, you can keep that one because that's the calendar one. Um, but I don't think I need this one. I don't think I need that one. Yeah, you could you can get rid of that one because you have you have the test thank you, which you could you can keep that one. Reservation page. Uh, yeah, you could delete that one. Okay, perfect. Booking, okay. calendar booking. I don't think I need that one yet. Okay, cool. So, and then, and then the open house one, you can- um, Probably get rid of these ones. No, actually that one you can keep because that, that's, the, that's, the con that's the confirmation page when they schedule an appointment. Right, right, right. Right, right? So, so you can edit that one, but, but, but keep it so you can at least edit it. But I that one right there, I don't think you need that one. No, that's the one I copied. Okay, perfect. So now you got this. So now we're good. And then also you want to start categorizing everything as well. As you start to set up different funnels for different products of yours, uh -huh. start putting everything in categories. So when you hit that all categories, that drop down up there, you hit that drop down, you'll see different categories that you'll want to kind of, you know, start, start managing and right, it, right. It just, start it just organizing. Makes it easier. Start organizing. Yeah. It just makes yeah, yeah. it easier okay. to, to know where everything is at. Okay. So, so real, real quick, just so, uh, uh, just for practice. So when they come onto the landing page, mm -hmm. and they click download now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and we might have to set up the form first, but let's see if we can. I had a form. I copied oh, you because that funnel had. I had the form. Oh man, I must have. I must have deleted. Actually, no, that. no. Go ahead and hit the edit from right there. Hit the edit. The pen, the pen up right there. Yeah, hit that. 
And this is where you would see it. Carter's a little slow right now. Yeah. It's because there's probably mad people on it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so hit that drop down right there, form, select opt in form. Oh. Okay, so you saved a few of them. So, oh. actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Come on. Okay, form. There we go. So those are the three that you had had under my form. So what you can keep I just deleted. I just delete I must have deleted the one that you already that you already It's all had. good. It's all good. We could okay. it, this is quick. We could set up a, this any of those would work and we'll just re, make sure you rename it. Uh landing page test. I think it's that one. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This Perfect. Is the one. Okay, so hit Hit, hit, the, hit the button at the top. So to the left, to the left. No, actually right there. Yeah, right there it says button. Perfect. Hit that. And then just type something in. Download now. Because that's what you had on the first one. Yeah. Perfect. Bam. Mm. Okay, cool. So now hit done. Yeah, hit, hit the done first. And then, and then save progress. And then, and then publish live. So now what we got to do is we got to just configure that form. So let's publish live and then let's return that to dashboard. And then also, I don't know what you have um, in the tab, but let's, let's check it real quick. Go ahead and close that out. Click on, um, yeah, close that. Click on settings to the left. This is the first thing that I normally check is that SEO parameters. I'll check the title of that tab. See how it says open house 444? Yeah. So you always want to check that title to make sure it says what you want it to say. Because when you come and create a page, you name it one thing, but then that title could be something different. Right. When you name a page, it's internally. It's what you see. But sometimes it's right there as well. Yeah. And so if I name this internally opt-in page, I don't want the title because that's what they see in the tab. I don't want it to say opt-in page. You know what I mean? Right. So I'll put something catchy right there in the title of the tab. Retire with perfect. Perfect. So that's what they see at the top. Yep. So go ahead and scroll down. And then also one thing, what's super important as well is, and this is this is really primarily for, for landing pages, not for any other page, not for the thank you page, not for any of the pages that I'm, that I'm teaching you how to do through the email sequence. None of those pages really, really, really matter. It's really the landing page because if anyone shares, especially because you have the links at the bottom. So if you scroll down, you have those social links. You have those share, share on Facebook, Twitter, you know, share on LinkedIn. Right. As you, as a person does share, because people will share. And even as you, as you take your link and you go share it on social media, as you post on Facebook, as you post on LinkedIn, as you post on Twitter, and I think that's it. I really think it's those, just those three where when you post a link, something follows an image, a description. Like if you post any link on Facebook, there's, there's that description and that image that pulls, right? This is where it pulls from. So click on settings. So if anyone shares this page, you want it to be a cool image. You want, and that's where all that stuff goes. So the description, the, the, the title and the image. So that image Right now, it's the image of that house. Maybe uh -huh. we have, you know, maybe we have a different image. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you, 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 you have that image of, of them chilling on the beach. You know, put that image. So if anyone shares it, yeah, perfect. So watch and, and, and we'll test it. We'll, we'll share the link and you'll see what I'm talking about. So select it, hit confirm and put something in the, the, the description. Put off, right there in the author, put your name, you know, put, um, Right at the top, you know, write something out on the top in that, in that, um, in that description, right there, page meta description. Yeah. Write something right there. Um, just something basic, you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. Just, um, download your free brochure or something like that or how to retire with confidence. Okay. And, then, like and then put some, put some keywords, put life insurance, retirement programs, and then put a comma after, after each one, life insurance, comma, 
and then whatever keywords in, in you know in your in your industry retirement um Uh, retirement, um, investments, investing, um, life insurance agent, life insurance broker, you know, um, or, and maybe just insurance. Yeah. Okay. So you got that. Um, I can come back and put some more in there. The more, the yeah. better, right? Yeah. Yeah. The keywords, but you don't need to go cra too crazy with that because to, at the end of the day, I mean, you're, you're going to be running Facebook ads, right? So it's not really keyword needed, but, but it's, it's cool to put a few for sure. Okay. Um, and then you clicked apply and then, um, and then, so we're good. So hit, hit the green button, hit say. So again, that, that's step one, that's in the settings that is normally on a landing page. You want it to be the description, the keywords, you want all that shit to, to, to look good. The picture, all that for sharing purposes. Gotcha. So did you publish live already? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, publish live, and then and then copy that link. in a, In a few minutes, we're gonna we're gonna test it. Yeah, so just copy it for the heck. Yeah, keep it copied, and then um and then now let's 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 get out of it and let's go back to. And you don't need to share it now. Well, let's give it a few minutes, but gotcha. um, just leave it up. Yeah, leave it up. So close this one out. Close this page, the builder out. Let's go back to um. Let's go to let's go to forms. So let's. No, you got to, yeah, you say progress and so now we return a dashboard. Perfect. And then um, click on my forms and let's make sure that that form is, is ready to go. So, and then let's also rename it. So click on the three dots and then just go ahead and click on edit and then, um, and then go to name it something else. Or you uh -huh. could just take out test, take out, I don't know if you want KZ with everything, but you can, you can even take out that. And maybe maybe name the form and what i try to do also is I, is I try to keep everything consistent like as far as uniform as far as under the same name so yeah. if this is my life if this is my life insurance funnel then i'm going to name i'm going to name the page the landing page life insurance opt-in i'm going to name the thank you page life insurance thank you page i'm going to name the form life and page li life insurance opt-in form so i want everything to be the same i want everything to be matching just so, just so I don't drive myself crazy trying to figure out which form is which. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, KZ. So, so if you're KZ, going with KZ, that goes for everything then. Yep. Yeah. Cause okay. I've got KZ landing page. Um, and now this is my KZ opt-in form. Perfect. Perfect. Keep everything KZ. And we're, and we want a category under, under KZ as well. If you don't have one already. Yeah. And I'm the category is for the pages. That. So right. for my pages, we want a KZ category. Right. Right. So we'll set that up too. So hit save and next. Uh, yeah. And, and also real quick hit back. A lot of, a lot of people depend on, you know, your industry or whatever, they'll try to ask for so much information up front and you kind of, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Name and email is, is kind of all you want to ask for. Yeah. If, if anything, I mean, yeah, if anything, email, like, so, really. <laughs> because you can, you can hit change and you can ask for a bunch of shit, but, yep. but I don't advise nah. it. I don't recommend it. So hit save and next. And then, and then the connection single opt-in and then the thank you page. So boom we'll rename that thank you page, but right. it's going to the right one. So that's good. Save and next. And then, and then here, right here. So, so there's two places where this welcome email can go out to. You can either have one go out or you don't need to go one out. You don't need to have one go out, but in your case, you're going to have one go out. That is the welcome email. That is the first email. So the moment they opt in, boom, that email of the PDF is going out right away. Okay. So it can go out here through the form. Or it could, it could be the first one that goes out in the sequence. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Let's so do it. I'd what, rather do it right away as soon as, uh, as soon no, as either, um, either, either way it's going to be right away. So whether oh, I put okay. that email to go out here in my form or whether I have email number one, go out right away through the sequence. Yeah. I'm just telling you, those are the two places you can have it go out. What I would do to, to really keep it even, even, even more easier, um, is out and on all your forms, and this is just a good habit to get in. On every form that you create from this point on, I would just have it where the welcome message do, does not go out here. Okay. Does not go out here because in every campaign that you most likely build from this point on, whether it's for life insurance, whether it's homeowners insurance, whatever, any different funnel, it's going to have its own individual form. And I'm hoping that you also have a sequence that goes out as well. 
Right. So if I'm right. downloading your PDF or I'm, or if I'm opting in for whatever reason, there needs to be a sequence. I, I don't just have me opt in and never email me again. Like right. have <laughs> me, and, and, and also don't physically go and email me either. Have a sequence, have an, a handful of automated emails that yeah. are already set to go out. So what I do is I, I want you, I want to teach you in a way where that welcome email, it goes out in the sequence. So therefore yeah. all we got to do is focus on the sequence. Yeah. Yep. Rather than trying to put one email here and then now put one in the sequence, let's just keep everything in the sequence. Email number yep. one, it starts from the sequence. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so save and next. Let's always put do not send from there. And then the list, so boom, that KZ list, people opt yep. in, they're on that list right away. Yep. And then from right here, subscribe to sequence, I have that off as well. So I don't set the sequence there, I set the sequence in sequences. Gotcha. Okay, so let's, let's keep all that off. So save and next. And then um, the form design, you can hit change, but it's already by default. It'll be a Kartra design, so that's fine. So right there, I will use a form in um, another Kartra asset. So we'll, we'll leave that. That's fine. Save. And then save and next. And then boom, you're good. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the landing page. Everything should be, should be set up. We're gonna, in fact, you know what? Let's do this real quick. Let's um, hit all categories. Let's make sure we have a KZ category. Okay, we don't. So let's, let's do this. So each page, all three of them, this is going to be a little, this will probably take a few minutes, but it's, it's worth it. Each one, we're going to click on the three dots. So first one, let's click on the three dots. Let's hit, um, let's hit edit. And then right here, let's, let's, let's take out the test. Let's, 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 get, let's get really clean with it. So KZ landing page, and that's, that's, um, and that's TY. Thank you. Perfect. And then, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit... Um, yeah, no, hit manage, hit manage categories, right there in the blue, manage my categories, and we got to set up a category. So let's delete, delete, um, what, delete, actually, um, yeah, you could delete shared funnels, you don't need that category, delete that one, and then the consulting campaign, delete that one, and then if anything, just edit that one, and just name that one KZ or whatever. Perfect. So now, okay, now we hit the done. And then, and then now you're going to hit the drop down and go to KZ. And now everything in this funnel goes into that category. And so now we're get, we have to go into the builder and then we got to just come back out. Okay. So again, this is the thank you page. So let's check the settings real quick. Let's check the settings, make sure the settings, the title of the tab, what I would do, look, it says 444. So Here's what I would do in the title. Let's put a call to action. Schedule your call now. Perfect. So that's what they'll see in the tab. And the, the description, the image, I don't need none of that because no one's sharing the thank you page. Gotcha. And I even hide it from search engines. So that's why that's, you know, toggled like that. I Search engines don't need to find it. Right. Perfect. So, so the tracking code, our next steps need to be Facebook ads, bro. Do you, how, how, how gangster are you with Facebook ads yet? I mean, I, all I did was that, uh, like campaign. Okay, bro. We're going to, I'm going to have to put you up on Facebook ads. Like that's, that's, that's a whole nother, another another call, but yeah, that's yeah, where those I, pixels will start going. Yeah. I'm excited about there. that. I, I saw your videos about that and, and setting up the pixels and setting up the, the, uh, conversion pixel right or something yes, like that yes yep. i have videos on all that bro so you can definitely refer back to those videos if you want for sure i will i see i really want just wanted to set up my my kartra you know my landing page the yes. opt-in page the thank you page and then the sequence so once i get that all set up then i could then i could yes yes perfect perfect that. perfect right. right there in the tracking code that's where your pixel would go mm. that's th this page is where you would also create a custom conversion yeah. Um, so as you go and run Facebook ads, we're telling Facebook, I am looking to get people here. Right. Like I'm not necessarily looking to get people to my landing page. Yes. The landing page is a given for sure. Right. I want to get people there, but my ultimate goal, Facebook is to get people here. Yeah. So Facebook needs to know about this page. And that's a, that's when you set up a custom audience and a custom conversion. Got you. Okay. Yep. So let's, um, okay. So, so we're good here. So save progress, publish live, return to dashboard. And really the whole thing here was to put it in that category and to change the title of the tab. So right. we did that. So in fact, watch, go to, um, yes, yeah, so let's return a dashboard. Go up to that tab at the top. You see 4443rd Ave. Go to that tab real quick. 
the very, very top, the tab that you have. Yeah, refresh that page. Boom. Bam. Bam. Love it. Yeah, dude. That's really cool. Okay, cool. Now, actually, you know what? Do you have that button tied to a calendar? Go back to the tab real quick. Click on the yellow button. Where's it taking you? Is it taking you to my calendar? Oh, look at you, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got my picture Hell on yeah. there. That's an old picture, but. Oh, you know, dude, I gotta, that's what's up. I that sit. looks really good, man. You know, I mean, I, I like the way you have it. Like with a, I think you have a picture up here of yourself. Or no, something bro. Like I like the way here. you have it. Like, I think I'm going to clean mine up like yours. It's clean, right? I mean. Yeah, I dude. I like that way better. Right. Okay. Way, good. way better. Oh, good. I love it. So okay. Okay. I see you. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Karcher real quick. Okay. So now let's just, I mean, okay. So refresh this real quick. So now what you can do is those other two pages, we got to put in, in that category. So drop down, bam, there it is there. And take away that test. Oh yeah. So let's clean that up. Okay, perfect. Cool. And then um, this is the landing page. So the, so the setting, the tab, we've already, we've already got that, right? Yeah, I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now here's what I want, want, to, want to do. So let's, let's get out of here. So we're good here. And when you don't do anything to the page, oh, I don't you, gotta... don't, you don't have to say progress or publish okay. live. Okay. You should be able to just return to dashboard. Okay. Perfect. So knock out that, that confirmed real quick. Actually, you know what? That doesn't go in the KZ because that's, the, that's just your standard confirmation page for your calendar. So, oh, so when they when they book the appointment, when they actually go on there and book the appointment, it's this is just what they're gonna see. Yeah, they should be going. They should go to that confirmation page. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, which which we gotta like check that. your calendar. We gotta check your calendar just to make sure that that that's the page. But it should it should be going there. And then and then also in my forms, go back to my forms real quick. You need a form for the calendar. Oh yeah. Which is that one right there? So you got one. You got one. Perfect. Yep. So you're good. That consulting reservation. What is that? Get rid of that one. Yeah, let's, let's just clean it up. Okay, so here's what I want to show you real quick. Um, go, to, go to your landing page. Go, so if you need to, or I don't know if you have the tab open. Actually, you have the tab open. Go to that tab at the very top. Schedule your, yeah. Okay, actually, no, that's your, that's your, that's, that's, my your, thank you page. that's your thank you page. Go to, go to the, um, to, yeah, just go back to Kartra and grab the link for your landing page. So just hit the three dots and click on get code or link. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Now, grab that link. And what you can do also, man, is, is hit the pencil. And, and, and you can, um, why don't you customize that link just a little bit? Rather, um, than, rather than 2, 3, Q, 3, 8, 4 at the end of it, like, why don't you put something? Like, and it could be maybe the title of the page. Like, what's the title of the page again? Uh, retire with Confidence. Yeah, uh, that, could, that could be it right there. Yeah, so the beginning, until you actually integrate a domain, then you could just use the Kartra default one, but just, you know, clean up the back end of it. Yeah, and I do want to do that eventually because I do yeah, have you will. domains. Yeah. Perfect. So now grab that link, grab that link, and then um, that's, the, that's the link. Copy that. Now let's see if it's live. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but um, let's see if it's live. Go to, go to Facebook. Let's see if Facebook is, is, is pulling it live. That, I should say that because sometimes Facebook takes a few, min, a few minutes. So paste that link into Facebook and let's see what it looks like. Hit, hit enter. Okay, so it's taken. Okay, so here, here's what I want you to do real quick. X out of this. Click on your name at the top. Let's just leave this part. Leave. Now go to Google. Open up a new tab. Go to Google, and and Google um, um, Facebook debugger D E B U G G debugger. Face. Actually, no. Yeah, I guess you could do it there, but you could do it in the middle. This. Yeah, right. That should be. That should be perfect. Click on that first one. Okay, paste that link into that top right there, and then hit uh, debug. So the the landing page link. Yeah, that one. Okay, hit debug. Bam. Okay, cool. So now go back to Facebook. 
and then hit home and see if you could paste it now. And then hit. Boom! Bam. Bam. Wow. Look how legit Yo. that looks, dude. And it's going to look like that on LinkedIn. It's going to look like that on Twitter. Um, Yo, that's but that right there. See how, okay, so now you're looking at it. That's what follows. So retire with confidence, how to retire with confidence. So, so that right there is what shows. So sometimes if you got to go back to the settings and maybe just tweak it a little bit, because that's what shows. So now we know what shows. So you can always add to it or whatever, you know? Oh, and then also when you post links, you post, you paste it, you hit enter, and then that, that pulled, right? Right. And but now I could delete that. Yeah, now you can yeah. delete that link and then write whatever you want. Yeah, whatever, yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Got it, that's, I love that, man. And what you can do too, what might be cool, All over is, the place. is if you, used an image that you actually like watch go back to it do it again you see how you have like all that open space like do it again yeah paste yeah right there you see how you have that open space in the sky yeah. although that's a beautiful ass image when it I comes to something. this maybe write something in there maybe maybe yeah. write something like download your free pdf today or something like that because there's so much space right there where it's like it might be cool to write something right there yeah. in bold you know letters but it's up to you but it looks you know, it looks yeah, cool. no, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, you know what I mean? So I'll change that image and I'll, I'll edit that image in like um, GIMP or something like that just to add the lettering up there. Okay. Yeah, dude, I use Canva for everything too. Oh, so yeah, whatever, Canva. Yeah, Canva yeah. works too. Yeah, download your free PDF today or download your free retirement guide today. Oh, love it. You know? Love um, it. Yeah, dude, so that, that looks really good, man. Okay, cool. That looks right. really good. Um. Let's get back. Okay, so we, we we the sequence, the categories. Yeah. Okay, so we got the category there. We got the category there. Um, should I check my calendar real quick to see if? Um, yeah, check your calendar real quick. Linked? Yeah, check check your calendar. It's either going to be in the calendar or it's going to be in in my in my forms. But um. Like I just want to make sure that when they click on when they when they click my calendar, yeah, or or schedule a calendar, um, click on that change. Yes, we got to make sure this and this is where it's at. It's either going to be right here, or it's going to be in my forms, but we'll we'll do both. Click on no, hit save right there. Hit save, hit the green one, and then click on change on the bottom one, the time zone. What what, what I do right here is let your users select their. Uh -huh. Yeah, do that one and then hit, hit save, the green one, and then save and next. Okay, cool. So now click on the change. Let's make sure that this is tied to the right form. So you got all that. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, and then the form right at the bottom. Keep going. Okay, KZ opt-in form. So see, so that's not the, that's not the right form, right? That no. is, yeah, so now we need the calendar. The, I don't know if that's the right consulting calendar booking, but we can make it that because the KZ opt-in form, that's for the landing page. Yeah. So let's get, let's, let's make sure that, so, so now that's our calendar form, okay? So we'll just update it in my forms after this. Okay. So, so hit save and then save and next. And then the communications this is what I, what I do also. So hit change on the email confirmation and reminders. So that email down there needs to be your email. So do you have a .com? Do you have a business email? I don't yet. Okay. So all you got to do is just get a domain that you want to use for this. That's what I would do. I would, I would get your own a whole separate .com to use for all this stuff. Now, yeah. right now, those links are tied to the Karcher URL, the default URL, all those pages, right? The three pages, it's, yep. it's Karcher.com, whatever. It's a, it's a Karcher URL. Yep. But what I would, I would suggest is getting your own .com, tying oh, all these pages to your own .com. I do have a, I, I, I have a, I have a site. Um, but you're probably, are you okay. using it for something else already? No, it, I, I just created it just this week. It's called egfinancial.com. Shit, bro. You need to be using that for this then. Yeah. I mean, it's not up and I mean, it's, I don't have a website. 
no, you don't need a website. Where did you get the domain from? Uh, GoDaddy. Perfect, dude. That's your that that's what you're gonna use for all this stuff then. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So 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 we got to integrate that domain, and what you need to do is you need you're gonna need to make a phone call to GoDaddy, but but the phone call is really simple. It's like a five minute call. Yeah. Um, and I think they close late, and I think they're on the open on the weekends as well. But you're gonna call them and you're gonna say, hey man, can you just walk me through setting up an email forwarding for my dot com? Oh, you got a video on that, don't you? Um, you just posted it. I know yes. how to. I think I know how to do that. Uh, email forwarding. Yeah. So so emax so eg uh, so egfinancial dot com and then you forward it to what are we forwarding it to? To to your what I would also do is I would forward it to a Gmail. I would forward it to a Gmail because if you don't forward it to a Gmail, then then GoDaddy is going to sell you their email account. Oh, that's like, there's like a monthly fee to that. I got a Gmail set up. I got EG, uh, EG financial at gmail.com. Perfect. So through GoDaddy, you're going to set up an email forwarding. And I don't think that video was on, was on exactly that oh, okay. because it's an internal thing that you got to do through GoDaddy. Okay. And I don't think that video was on. Oh that. no. I think that's forwarding it to another, like, e like another website or something like that. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So you're saying like that. You, so so, my. So what do I want to say again to GoDaddy? So, so you're gonna reach out to GoDaddy and you're gonna say, Hey, GoDaddy, I have this dot com. Can you walk me through setting up an email forwarding? I want to email. Ah, I want to. I want to forward it to my existing Gmail. Got you. That's what you want to do. Okay. And so what you want to set up is e at your dot com. And that is the email that you use for everything. That's the email you use for Kartra. Gotcha. Because that has to be a, a, a business email. That cannot be a Gmail right there. Okay. So the reply, the send from and the reply from, yep. the reply to, those need to be your, that needs to be your email. So it's going to be e at egfinancial.com. Or support or info or freaking whatever. Yeah, dude. Or yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so GoDaddy, I don't, yeah, yeah, GoDaddy could walk you through that part. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you send me the recording of this video. Oh, so for, sure, for, sure, for sure. Okay. All right, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, in this case, just say, so, so when you do set that up, you're going to come back here and, and change, and change the send from and the reply. Got it. That needs to be that new email. In fact, just set it up right now. Put it right now because it doesn't matter. Whatever you're going to set up, put it right now info at eg financial perfect perfect okay okay hit save and then the booking confirmation this right here is right when they schedule the call they get a confirmation right away and if you can if you hit change you can edit that email it could say whatever you want. So yes, send a booking and then you hit the pencil right there to edit and you can write out that email, whatever you want. Hey, John, thank you so much for booking. I got it. Everything is confirmed. I look forward to speaking to you soon. And, and what I do since this is its own form. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to re recommend that you do is you actually ask for the phone number on this form. Because now that we're going, if that's your thing, if you're, if you're a phone call type of business, then okay, yeah, I need that phone number. So as they go and schedule an appointment on my calendar, put your damn phone number because it's going to be a phone call. Right. But in my case, I use Zoom. So like, just like with this call right here, bro, yeah. I set that appointment on my, on my Karcher calendar and an hour before our call. And yep. even right when I scheduled it, you got a confirmation with yep. my Zoom link. You didn't, I didn't ask for your phone number. I didn't give you my phone number in the email. It was my Zoom link. Right. So if you hit edit, you can put whatever you want right there. Um, so that's the email that you got from me, right? And then an hour before our call today, you got another email. Yep. Right? So, so you can edit that. You can change it. And what I always do, I always use their name. So to the left, you see the dynamic variables. I'll, yep. I'll copy of that and I'll paste it over and that pulls their name. So I always use their name. I'll either put it in the subject line. I'll put it in the email. I'll always call them by their first name. But in your business, I don't, you know, some businesses are a little bit more professional. So sometimes it's always Mr. or Mrs. But uh, no, it's first. if you're calling them by their first name, yeah. then, then that's cool right there. You know, paste that in. 
And so you can always edit that. Um, and then if you click on that, that blue button at the top, if you shade that to the other side to advanced, there, and then you click on design templates, there's all these different templates. So if you use full templates, if you click on full templates, or you can even design your own. Oh, but wow. there's all these templates where all you do is drag it over, and, you, and that's very, very similar to building a page. Oh, snap. So you can just edit, add some images, you know, all that stuff. So you just click it, drag it over, or drop it, and boom, you got that email. And what I do is I like to color coordinate everything right. on my pages, and I like to keep my emails the same as well. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll create that first email. I'll create that template, that first email, and then at the bottom, I'll hit save. And I'll save as template and I'll use that same template over uh, and over and over for every email. Yes. Especially if you notice at the bottom, there was social media icons. Yep. Like I don't want to keep having to link my icons on every damn email, right? <laughs> I'll use the template and, and then just edit the text or the image if needed, you know? Yeah. Cause I see that you do keep it uniform and it's always a picture you that, that same picture of you right? and then you always usually add a little image in there or some text saying, yeah, thank you or see you yeah. soon or chat soon or something like that. That, that basic branding, it, it's, it, it goes a long way. Okay. All you know? right. So, so this is, so play hit, around with that. yeah, play around with that. And, and again, so you have the button to the left, basic, basic is just basic text. Yep. The moment you click it to advanced, that's when you can start building and playing around with different images and colors and all that. And you can add a button. You can get gangster with it on the advanced site. Okay. But at the same time, try to keep these basic as well, especially in your case. You're, I mean, branding and, and having a pretty template is, is cool. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, like you keeping it basic is, is, is cool too. Like shit, you don't yeah. need to get too fancy with it, you know? Right. right. So, so hit edit, hit the green one. That's the confirmation one. And then hit save. And then the next one is just the email reminder. You can have that go out an hour before, a day before, right. two hours before, whatever. So that's the same thing. So okay. you can edit that one later. So hit save and next. And then session cancellation. Yeah, let them cancel if needed. Save and next. And session approval. If that time slot is available, it's available. So I don't need to manually approve an appointment. Like if it's right. available on the calendar, then book You're it. On. You know. Right, yeah. So customer support, you don't need that part. Hit save and next. Um, and then right here, do you use Google calendars for everything? I, uh, I, uh, well, for, for my, my day job, I use outlook, but on okay. my, my personal stuff is all Google calendar. Okay. What you can do right here is you can sync it to your, to your new financial Gmail email, that Gmail that you got. Right. Yeah. I would sync it and I would use that as my, as my tracking calendar. Um, Boom, but right here. Oh, damn. You already did that already did it shit bro <laughs> who I'm I'm talking probably, to. i've been playing around man like when i'm, I'm just I'm like you to. said this is my side hustle so when i'm done with work during the day you know i'm back in my office here at, at, at you know dinner time i got my dinner here right in front of me and nice I'm to man play around. nice my side hustle man this is that's what's up man i gotta get this up and running man i'm telling you dave it's gonna be on bro. it's on bro. I mean, it's on i've been trying i've been helping hundreds and thousands of agents do this and i'm like man i could do this myself Yes, bro. Hit save. And then, and then down to the subscribe to a list. That's the last one you want to do is subscribe to list. So anyone that schedules an appointment, subscribe to a list. They need to be on a list. So hit the drop down. You may not have one, or maybe you do. Um, do you have scheduled appointments? Um, no, I don't, I don't think I have one yet. No, that's fine. You can create one right here. So just hit the, um, get out of there and just hit create a list and just put a, uh, you know, scheduled appointments or whatever. KZ scheduled appointments. And, and this one right here, it's not just for KZ. This is going to be your overall calendar for anything and everything. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be KZ, but you could put a public description right there. Thank you for scheduling the call regarding life insurance or retirement insur or whatever, because that's what they see in their, in the, at the bottom of the email. Should they ever go and unsubscribe? This is just a reminder of what, what list they're on. Right. I can't spell right now. Scheduling a call. That's fine. I think I'm good with that for now. Okay, so we're good. So hit create and then hit hit add. Or actually hit the drop down. Hit the drop down. Actually, no, that is it. That's scheduled appointments. Perfect. So hit add and then um and then save. 
and then and then and then we're good. So sequence, you don't need a sequence right now. It's an, it, they're appointments, so they don't. They're right. gonna get the they're gonna get the confirmation email automatically, and they're gonna get a reminder email automatically. After that, they don't they don't need anything else. Hit save and next. Okay, so we're good with that. I have a call, bro, in like twenty yeah. seconds. Yeah. I'm so good. where Thanks. we need to pick up though is in my communications under sequences. Yeah, when we set up in sequences, I'll I, I'll think about all the emails. Number one, two, three, four. Yes, five. dude. Break then, that part down, and that goes in sequences. And I have a ton of videos, but if you need to freaking jump back on, let's jump back on. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I mean, I'm a... If Schedule you a call. Mind, yeah. I'm, we could I'm either a, chat tomorrow or Monday. My calendar is available for tomorrow or Monday. So schedule um, whatever, whatever is best for you. I got I to gotta save... Actually, it might, be, it might be Tuesday. It might be either open tomorrow and Tuesday. What, what's the... Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, tomorrow or or I think it's it's. Nah, man, I'm not gonna open. call you tomorrow. <laughs> Saturday, you gotta be with your family, bro. No, those those times are, that's when I'm open, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Like create your schedule based around your schedule, like and that that's when I when I delegate for 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 these calls. So Saturday morning, bro, we can always jump back on tomorrow. All right, cool. Yeah, I I mean my family is we don't get up and out until about like eleven o'clock anyway. So that's yeah, good, bro. I, let's I, do I, it. Magnus out at eleven at nine. Let's Boom. do it, man. Let's do it. Thank you. Right on. And then we'll pick up on sequences and then, and then we need to, we need to really jump into some Facebook advertising. I need to help you with, with all that part, man, but that's a whole, a whole nother side of calls. So let's, let's chat about that tomorrow. Love it, man. Thank you so much, David. Yes, sir, bro. Right on, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow, bro. Have a great Friday. Thank you. You too. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.